do you want to make this insane album cover or song cover art for your music today i'll show you how to do this all for free i'm cal coach with fx coaching you to exceed your potential in graphic design today i will be showing you how to make this album cover or song cover art for the things like your spotify other music streaming platforms just before we do dive into this make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel with post notifications on for weekly graphic design content also this is a fun cover art for self-reflected by but jake st Ange. all his links will be in the description down below so spotify youtube instagram so go listen to his music firstly you want to load up photo p the photo p.com create a document dpi at 300 size by 3000 by 3000 this can be scaled down in the future so i think spotify needs about 1600 but some need a really big resolution so that's why i've made it bigger and drag the image in mine's from the music video that, that i said it's fast forward um doing a really good job on it uh, you're gonna have to resize it probably so that's fine you can see i don't lose too much quality but we're gonna make it look more cartoony just in a second it's just, it is a on a smart object make sure it's rasterized and then go to filter stylize and oil paint Create the settings of radius at 2.9, cleanness at 10 pixels, scale at 0.1, bristle detail at 0. Make sure lighting is enabled so there's a little tick box, make sure it's ticked. Shine in 0.5, angle 45 degrees. Next, duplicate this and on the top layer, untick the orb. So on the original one, the bottom one, go to filter and then filter galleries and pick glowing edge under stylize. This can be a little bit laggy, so you'll just have to bear with it and just wait till it's done. Um, I made my edge width 15, my edge brightness 20, my smoothness 15, and then click OK to exit out of the window. This might take a bit of time, so if you're doing this live, you might want to pause the video or listen ahead and then skip back if you need to or something like that. Now apply an adjustment filter. Uh, by clicking the half circle folder and go to exposure and only adjust the first setting and make this 0.6 now make a gradient map and there should be a standard blue to yellow gradient map i would use that set the blending mode to screen and opacity around 30 percent you don't want it too like you, you want to see it but not as just blue or yellow as it was before then add one more of brightness and contrast my brightness is at 50% and contrast at 30% so I've got this light leak um, it was a few of the presets from visual arts 20k pack so yeah you can if I remember I'll put a link in the description if not spam comment me and I will so I uh, said so I used two of them, exported it as a PNG, and now I'm going to rotate it and put it in the uh, top corner. To remove the lines, I'll be doing what I did in my For the Horizon banner tutorial and using an eraser with soft brush, so 0% hardness and semi big, not too big though. On the blender mode, I'd put pin light and opacity around 50%. I often see the extinction symbol connected with them, so I'll implement this at the background as it helps texture the image. Put this on blend mode overlay around 30%. I'm going to rub out the edges that are over him so it looks like it's behind him. Again, use the soft eraser so the lines aren't too hard, but I would bump up the softness. I wouldn't have it on 0%. I'd bump up a little bit. I have this plastic wrap effect. I so said I got it from another pack, I can't remember now. Um, but put the blender mode on screen and pass it around 20% and you can see it's really, really good. Now time for the text. The song is called Self Reflection by Jake St. Ange. These are all important points to put in for me. I want to put the artist's name along the brick and I'm going to put the font in Edu. Line it up with the bricks and go to edit transform perspective to get it lined up just a little bit more. It really, really does help, but sometimes it can be a bit awkward to.
to do. Now time for self-reflection. So I'm going to be using the font Metropolis on medium, so not too thick, not too small. And I'm going to type out self. And then on a the new text layer, I'm going to type out reflection. This is going to go into the body. So for this, we'll add a stroke. But we'll get onto that in a second. So what you're going to want to do is duplicate this layer. Use the pen tool, make sure it's on path, not shape. But if the pen tool is too complicated for you, then make sure to use the polygonal lasso tool and just cut out around the body um, just where the text is going to be. And then press delete on the original one, but this image will need to be rasterized first. Then on the second one, set the fill to zero and the stroke should be white on inside on around five pixels. Next I'll add a few light spots. This means that people either subconsciously drawn to these areas, to a relatively big brush and hardness on zero or lower down. I'm just gonna add these around self-reflection and the name and maybe his face. The last thing I wanna do is cut out his face so he has a normal skin tone, not kind of this bluey that we've got. So that's all you have to do to save your project. You'll want to save it as a PSD file so you can edit the layers later on and export it as a PNG. You can resize this so you can resize it for Spotify or Apple Music or any of them. And now you've made an album cover, learn the full photo piece software with my video on screen now. And I'll see you in next week's video where I teach you how to use Photopea on mobile unless I make a midweek video.